Good morning, folks. We're here bright and early to build a chicken coop. Start out by getting everything out of the van. Unloading my purchases. And we're grooving. This is just laying out the 4x4s for the base. Treated 4x4 so I can move it around, drag it around, it'll be solid. Two end pieces here. I made it 4x8. Just kind of made everything work dimensional lumber wise. Not a lot of scrap. Screwing the base together here. I use six inch structural screws. Um, they're pretty strong. Just held everything together good. Laying out the top and bottom plates here. Probably went a little overboard on the construction of a chicken coop, but I don't want to build another one. So, uh, treated two buys on the bottom plates, and I just put a uh, regular construction grade on the top. Doing a little thinking there. Quick math. Cutting the studs for the side walls. Get that out of the way and let's put wall number one together. Using my Milwaukee battery powered nail gun. I don't use a nail gun a lot. But I do like having my Milwaukee. They come in handy a lot. All you've got to have is charged battery and some nails. Wall number two, let's get this baby popped together. Goes pretty quick once you have everything cut. And I'm not a framer, so somebody that is could probably do this a lot faster. Nailing the bottom plates to the base. And it's starting to look like something. Some more quick math there. Let's get the end wall built. Everything I use is Milwaukee cordless and I love it. Uh, I'm sure everybody has their preference, but not dragging a cord around really is nice. Just cutting the studs here. And I laid it out to where the the door that was going to be in the middle um, was already cut out so I didn't have to cut a stud off or anything like that. We're down to the other end now. And laid this one out to where we could have our uh, hen boxes. You'll understand what I mean by that later on. Going to be three boxes in between those sets of studs there. Get that nailed on, and we're checking square. think we were an eighth out on that, so not too bad. Uh, we're building a coop box. I guess that's what you would call it. Made a little mistake over here on this side. Here in a minute, I'll have to cut it back off and re-nail it, but it's not a mistake unless you can't fix it. I'm thinking about it there, trying to figure it out. There we go, let's cut it off and fix it. And we're back in action. Now we're figuring out how to cut rafters. And I am not a framer, as stated before, so this was a little bit tough. I got it pretty close. It's not too bad. Um, little online calculator and one or two mistakes, and we got a pattern. Took that pattern and cut the rafters. Got it ready to go. I don't think you would want me to frame your house by myself, but for a chicken coop or a dog kennel, something like that. 
it's uh, good enough for who it's for. So we're just cutting the rafters here, get them laid out, start nailing them up. Went pretty smooth. Get the other side nailed on here. And then we'll slide our ridge pole up. Get it tacked in. I know just enough about this to be dangerous. So, not a professional by any means. Put our plywood decking on. Again, it's kind of overbuilt for a chicken coop, but I do not want to build another one. I once bought one of the cheap ones from a farm store, and it was not quality. But this is the end of uh, video one for Operation Chicken Coop. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.